Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be adding additional RAM on an Alienware M18R1. This is a DDR5. If you take a closer look here, it says PC5, that stands for DDR5, and this is at 8 gigabytes of RAM. I'll be adding it up to 16, but if you have a 16 gigabytes of um, RAM on this Alienware laptop, you can upgrade it to 32 gigs using 16 on the top and 16 at the bottom. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So if you want to identify the model, you should take a look at the uh, the serial number here. That should be uh, Alienware M18R1. All right, so first thing is to get a Phillips screwdriver. We need to remove the screw and the back covers to get into the computer. Okay, there are four screws here at the very bottom in which the two in the middle here, the, do, the two of the screw that do come off and the two screws, one at the bottom left and one at the bottom right, that two screws, they do not come off. So when you unscrew it, you hear the little clicking sound. That means the screw has reached its limit and you can stop unscrewing it because um, they just do not come off, okay? The reason why they do not come off is that when you unscrew it, the screw is pushing that plastic cover apart and separate from the laptop. It gives you a gap where you can go in and separate the back cover like such. Okay, at this point here, you go ahead and gently remove the cover. And if the screw is still stuck, that means you can remove the back cover. You've got to come back and unscrew a little bit more. At this point here, you want to slide it down towards yourself to remove the entire back cover. All right, here's the Alienware, the internal part of it. And right here is the RAM slot. So the laptop comes with two slots, A and B, or first and second. If you have the eight gigabytes of RAM, you might want to upgrade to additional eight to make it 16. But if it comes with eight and eight, and you need needed more um, RAM to the computer, you can buy a 16 gigabytes on the top and 16 gigabyte for the bottom. Now how to install this is very simple and straightforward. If you take a look at the RAM, the RAM do have a little gap right in the middle here and there's a length difference in that DDR5. Making sure that the gap is aligned to the slot where the slot has a little gap where you can match it. So if I do it this way, you can see I'm off by one eighth of an inch. Okay, so if I do it the other way, you can see that it aligns with the gap and try to slide it in. So you should slide in the RAM at 45 degree angle. And what you want to do is you want to push down right in the middle. When you push it down, notice that the two metal here on the side, it would clamp and lock the RAM in a secure position. All right, simple as that. That's all you have to do. Push it in at 45 degree angle, slide it in, and then push it down together right in the center and the clipper will just lock it now at this point here you don't have to worry to do any configuration you don't have to go to the settings to making sure that you have to add the RAM on it it is automatically um, added to to the computer all you have to do is just verify if you have a 8 gig of RAM or 16 gigabytes of RAM all right very simple we got to finish up the rest is to slide the uh, back cover together so I want to slide it in making sure that it align to the very top because they do have a gap in between there you want to slide it in making sure it's all the way in and then press it down and have all the screw to go back in to finish up the uh, the upgrade thanks for watching and go ahead and check out the link down description below I'll link directly to Amazon where you can get the right RAM the DDR5 for this upgrade Alright, until then, bye now.